Hello, this is Alex Song, taking 15-1-12 in Carnegie Mellon University, and I made a 2D tank game called Fortress for my term project using Python 3.4, Pygame, the Python Photo Imaging Library, or PIL, and Paint.net. It's a replication of an existing game Fortress Red by Cosmos Entertainment Company in Korea. Some of the images, like the terrain and tanks, is from the game website, and some are from other websites. I drew the bullet and all animations, and the in-game interface thing on the bottom of the screen. So the main objective of the game is to destroy the other tank using the angle that is shown on the bottom left of the screen, and power in the bottom middle. And you can move around and see where in the map the opponent is through the radar on the bottom right. The green is the current player and the red and red is the opponent. And all players must take turns. Once you aim and press space to charge the power to shoot, the bullet flies in a projectile motion, lands wherever, and blows up to terrain. When you hit the enemy or anywhere close, the enemy takes some damage and falls down as the terrain is destroyed, and this little cute fires pop up as the bullet explodes. And the game is over when one of the players die or fall off the terrain. And now, let's go to the beginning of the game, the intro page. Here we got a couple options here, single player, two player, or practice mode, and this is the help screen to instruct you how to play the game. Now let's go to the single player mode. Here you got an AI, you fight with him. He's pretty dumb, but he knows where he's shooting to some extent. The AI knows your position and calculates the right power to hopefully get you in some range. Destroying the terrain and the explosion was the toughest part about the project. It involved some math and playing around with um, image pixels. To maximize the game speeds um, and reduce lag, and a lot of the original images had to be cut down in size but still had some decent quality. I think the best part about the game is really the animations, the fires that I drew. See the little faces there? And I also like the nice background picture when the bullet is fired and it follows and you can see the whole castle. Yep, and that's about it. Thanks for watching.